And Belinda, there's even less info about this online, and I'm not sure if it's true. Were you briefly a replacement member of the girl band Girlfriend, aka GF4? Yes, I was. Um, so I remember I auditioned about 100 girls in Sydney, went for it, gruelling auditions. Um, and I went to Johnny Young Talent School. Um, I don't know if you know Johnny Young Talent School in the UK. Um, Iconic. Yeah, so it, it I trained there and and, um, and it then turned into Sydney Theatrical Centre. Um, yeah, so I got sent an audition. I think it was from that agent or maybe I'm getting my time mixed up. But, yeah, I went for the audition and signed the contract to BMG Records and we did some demos. I don't have them anymore. I don't know where they are. And they were finishing off the album. So basically that GF4 album that got released, their last one, um, the record company halfway through decided that they they weren't going to put any more money in. So I think they were on their way out. So they, they'd recorded six tracks in LA, I think, and then they came back to Sydney and, and BMG were like, well, we're not sure what we're doing with you. And then one girl left, um, Jackie left. And I actually knew Lorinda Noble from um, one of the girls in GF4 from Sydney Theatrical Centre, um, Johnny Young Talent School. So, but um, I didn't hear about the audition through her or anything. I'd lost contact with her. She was younger than me. Um, but no, I just, I remember the gruelling audition um, and I remember signing with BMG. I remember going to the, the Today FM uh, celebrity party with I think Kyle was there and this is going this is so long ago and going in a limo that left the record company and I was like mum what do I wear and I was like a, I put some outfit together like it was random um, and all I'd done is record some demos and then I just remember standing there and like getting out of the limo with them and them them all being ult ultimate professionals you know signing the autographs and whatever and I'm just standing going oh my god what do I do and and then I just went home and, and I said to mum, that was just a spin out. Like, what was that? Like, I was 23 at the time or 21. I, I can't remember now. Um, and anyway, then the record company called us in and said, it's over. And the girls were devastated. But for me, I was just a bit like, I didn't feel anything. You know, I just got in and um, I had, I was working a lot at the time in in the industry. So I... I don't know, I, I, I wasn't upset, but for them, you can imagine, I remember them crying and they were all really lovely girls. I loved working with them. They really worked well as a team, a little bit different to us in a way, but anyway, I do remember that. Like they were very humble and very um, just great girls. I remember that, worked as a team. That's the key in a girl group. <laughs> What I loved about this is that we're discovering that you sort of had a bit of a, not a probation, but like a baptism of fire into what it's like to be in a girl group. Like, was it so. surreal when yeah. you made the final five and you just went, okay, this is happening all over again, but I sort of have a bit more of a roadmap? No, because being in Bardo and being selected for pop stars was just so different. The minute we were picked, it was just full on work. The minute we arrived in the house, it was just on another level from everything we did from recording to, but I, as I said, I think BMG were really getting ready to let them go at the time. So really I just remember going to not even good studios to record, like just houses and stuff. And it was, I think the girls had already realized and everyone was down a bit, you know, there wasn't this sort of vibe like, wow, we're recording a great album. We've got great songs. Let's go. It was more, this is the end a bit feeling with everything we did. So no, I, I can't compare the experiences at all. Yeah. Well, in a way, yeah. thank <laughs> God that did end. So it did, you know, lead your path open to being a I, Bardot. Yeah, I think so. Um, yeah. Well, <laughs> I have to do shout out to Minogue Collection on Instagram. I don't know if you've seen all the amazing CDs and vinyls they've been posting. Oh, yeah, yeah. It was them that brought that to my attention and they were desperate to know if you still had the demos, which you said you don't. So if you ever find no, them, do I let them know. know. <laughs> okay, I will. <laughs> so let's take it to pop star. 